After our first planning session, we're going to give you a couple homework assignments. One is a questionnaire, and the other is a financial attitudes questionnaire. And we just want to collect the information on some of the, what we call the hard data. And because we've already met you, uh, the questionnaire is going to be short. If we gave the questionnaire at the beginning of the process, it'd be much longer because we didn't know, wouldn't know what questions to ask. But this is the sort of questionnaire that you would receive. And again, you can see it's much shorter, not a lot of questions on here. The other thing we do is a quick little attitudes questionnaire and it asks questions like, if I were richer, I would drive a more expensive car, strongly agree or disagree. And the reason we do that is for when we come and do the solutions. And we look at tactics and the first thing that pops up is attitudes and attitudes come up because, you know, it's, you don't have control over taxes, uh, stock returns or investment returns, insurances, things like that. But there are certain things you do have control over. For example, Bob likes to work. So if there was a shortage, we could come in here and we could say, look, he's a corporate business owner. He's working part time right now. He's close to retirement. You know what if he continued to work to age a little longer, age 69 or so? Or what if we gave him a pay raise somewhere in here? So we can do those things and they're based on things that you control, uh, your attitudes. If we come and look at Jill and we open up the table, what we're looking at, this is the national average. So if you score in between these two gray bars, there's not that much significance. But we can see that Jill likes to spend uh, and she likes to wear nice clothing and have a nice car. So my role as a financial planner is not to really change Jill's attitudes, but sometimes people that have a high spending rate, they're just not aware of the long-term implications. So if I can put together a plan and just show her what the implications are of her spending, she may or may not change her, her spending habits. But that's up to her. As long as everything works and she likes to spend, there's nothing wrong with that. So those are the two quick assignments that you'd have in between the first session and the second is just the quick questionnaire and the attitudes questionnaire.